Thank you very much, Michael, for this warm presentation. Well, I'm very uh, pleased to be here, and I'd like to thank the organizer, and especially Dr. Goldman and Dr. Klatz, for inviting me here to share with you our experience in the molecular biology of uh, cancer cells and our new insights we get in Germany in the last three years when, uh, relate, when uh, investigating the concentrations of uh, heavy metals in uh, malignant tumors and understanding the molecular mechanism rendering these cells very sensitive to, uh, non to specific therapies like ascorbic acid and uh, polyphenolic compounds. Now, if we, uh, if we check this list of uh, reactive oxygen species mediated free radical mediated diseases where cancer uh, also the premature aging, we're here in an anti-aging congress, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, atopic eczema, which are treating in Germany, in our hospital in Germany, in Bavaria, uh, myocardial infection, infarction, all these things, we see that this free radical generation is a common dominator, uh, nominator in all these clinical conditions. And uh, we also know that main uh, free radical generators like radiation, like the increased mitochondrial and peroxisome oxygen metabolism, like the xenobiotics, like the increased phase two and phase one detoxification processes. But very, very important, the heavy metals, as you may see here, as well as the hypercaloric intake, all these factors are strongly generators of free radical uh, reactions, inducing the generation of uh, superoxide, hydrogen peroxide, and especially hydroxyl radical, which is a most deleterious uh, agent increasing the um, lipid peroxidation, increasing the protein uh, attack, and also the D DNA attack. The DNA attack until the hydroxyl radical is leading to single strand breaks, is leading to DNA mutations, and we can see the whole damage by measuring in the blood or in the urine the so-called DNA adducts, like 8-hydroxyguanosine, like hydroxyadenine, thymidine, glycol, and all these, by using high-pressure liquid chromatography technologies as we are using in Germany. Almost, it's more than 20 years, 25 years, uh, then we know that uh, heavy metals are playing a very important role in inducing the single strand breaks in DNA by hydrogen peroxide uh, in the frame of the so-called Haber-Weiss reaction or Fenton reaction. In both reactions, Haber-Weiss and Fenton reactions, we have transitional metals like iron, copper, chromium, mercury, uh, or uh, palladium, uh, catalyzing the generation of hydroxyl radical, of hydroxyl radical, as uh, talking, uh, told before as the main aggressive free radical inducing the DNA mutations, the DNA single strand break, and so on. In uh, details, the two reactions, the Haber-Weiss reaction here and the Fenton reaction, are both involving the so-called transitional metals like iron, copper, chromium, nickel, uh, mercury, and so on. And they are both generating large amounts of hydroxyl radical, as already mentioned. Here we have the iron-3, for instance, the uh, iron bound in ferritin in our cells, and here we have the activated, reduced iron, as we all, also get when we are using ascorbate infusions in our patients. The story concerning the damaging role of iron and uh, uh, cancer-inducing role of INR is not new. There are many reports uh, documenting the deleterious effect of iron in, uh, on tissue and on uh, in, inducing malignant growth. Not only iron, also some other metals have been shown in uh, animal experiments as inducer of malignant growth. And uh, we took this uh, knowledge as a base to start our own research to check what kind of involvement have these transitional metals in the malignant growth. And for this, we've been uh, 
starting uh, important cooperation with the University of Prague in Europe, the oncology department, and uh, with the hospital Caritas in Germany, in Regensburg, 